Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, in this video, I wanted to briefly touch on the difference between the Surface Pro 9 and the Surface Pro 9 5G, which is the one that has the ARM processor. So if you're looking at which one should I get and you're not sure exactly if you fit into one category or another, if one you will regret and the other one you will love, then watch this video. This is a uh, shallow but meaningful um, brief overview on this concept and I'll go into a deep dive in another video uh, using a friend who is an expert and has a uh, ARM processor Surface Pro X and we can talk about compatibility in that video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over and look at the two devices. All right, now when we look at the two devices, there's um, one real quick point I want to make. If you're looking at doing gaming natively on the device, do not get the Surface Pro 9 5G. You can do some gaming, but there are some limitations and problems with compatibility with GPU related uh, tasks. So video editors and a lot of games are going to struggle or have the potential to struggle greatly with the Surface Pro 9 5G or the Surface Pro X3. <laughs> it's kind of how I think it's helpful to look at. Beautiful device, really cool to have 5G on there. Uh, the extended battery life is a great thing. It's supposed to be very uh, performant, but uh, I have a handful of big questions. In my compatibility video, I'm going to be looking at what things work and what things don't uh, currently on ARM processors. Okay, so right now, if you are someone who installs a lot of new programs on a regular basis on your computer, I would go with the Surface Pro 9 Intel. If you use the same grouping of programs and have for the last five years and you occasionally install one or two new programs um, every three or four months, then the 5G, the ARM version of the Surface Pro 9, could be a really good choice for you. It has a lot of really wonderful features to it. And obviously the uh, zoom capabilities of the Pro 9 is going to be really helpful. However, both of them have an expanded uh, angle on their lens. So that's going to make a big difference for anyone using either of the two Surface Pro 9s. Zoom and a handful of other uh, video chatting applications already enable some background blur effects. So that's nothing that you can't have on the Intel version. There are also a handful of noise canceling applications. I use OBS Studio to cancel the noise and I also have my camera mounted up here on the top. Now here is something personally that's drawing me heavily towards the ARM version of the Pro 9. It has eye tracking and I do a handful of uh, interviews and video meetings where I'm looking at my screen because my screen is actually directly in front of me. Like it's at eye level but my camera is up here. So when I'm looking up here and I'm talking to somebody and I'm looking at their face down here, it looks like I'm um, doing something else, which as a person who considers himself very um, socially adept and occasionally very awkward, <laughs> but when I'm on, I'm on, like I can tell the difference and it just feels so wrong to me. I think it is really important to have eye contact and that's something that the 5G, the ARM version of the Pro 9, uh, I believe is the only one that does that, but I'm not sure. If that's the, um, I forget what they called it, the neural processing unit, if the NPU is handling the eye gaze feature or if that's also on the Surface Pro 9. If you know, put it in the comment section. All right, so if you like to do some gaming and like to install a lot of different applications, you love trying out new programs, new games, new apps, go with the Intel version. If you don't install a lot of new programs, you find yourself doing mostly the same things, a lot of browsing, a lot of video calls, uh, a lot of uh, standard applications that are produced by Microsoft that are in the Windows Store, then you're going to be fine with the majority of things on the Surface Pro 9. The two things that are the most difficult and challenging for the ARM system currently is gaming and video editing. So uh, I'll be talking with someone later today to find out the best video editors available for ARM. So check out that video, subscribe to this channel. If you have questions about Surface devices, if you use a stylus, 
or a touch screen, check out our uh, software, the artist pad, which you see right here. This is a custom touch keyboard that allows you to interact with your Surface device as if you had a keyboard with you. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Check out the other videos on this channel and I'll see you in the next video.